Hey guys, it's Monica here. Thanks for stopping by my channel. If you like what you see, I recommend subscribing. And today, I'm going to be doing a swimwear haul. Yes, a swimwear haul. This is actually my first haul video ever, so we'll see how it goes. I wanted to do a swimwear haul because every year I have a hard time finding bathing suit I like. And it's not because I don't like my body. It's just, I, I just have trouble finding things that fit. I have pretty big boobs and then I don't really have a waist. My body just kind of goes like straight down, which is fine. I bought a ton of swimsuits from ASOS. If you know me, you know I love ASOS. This is not sponsored by them. I wish it was, but they have an awesome return policy. You can return anything within like, I think 20 days. So I bought a ton of swimsuits. I'm gonna try them all on, see which ones I like the best, and then keep the ones I like and send the rest back from where they came. So y'all ready? Swimsuit season has begun. So I'm usually a size medium or a six to eight um, in general, but also sp specifically on the ASO site. Everything I got is in that size range. If you're that size, then you know, you can judge from there. Um, every once in a while I am a large, but I'm very rarely a small, so <laughs> pretty much all mediums. So this first one is the Pretty Little Thing Contrast Cami Bikini Top and Brief. The top was $11 and the bottom was $9.50, so really good, good price range. But I have to say, I did not like this one. Um, the elastic inside the brief was twisted when I got it, so that was annoying. It was a little bit too small. No, I felt like I was in like a Sprite commercial. I, online, the yellow and the green together looked cute, but on me, I was like, no. The next one is a one piece by Jaded London. It's called the Double Bow Bandeau Swimsuit. Double Bow Bandeau Swimsuit, that's a tongue twister. And it was 1950. I wasn't crazy about this one. I didn't like the way it fit. It was kind of bubbling up in the back. And I, in theory, thought that like the three ties would be like cute, but then it kind of just looked like an extra set of boobs under my actual boobs. Wasn't super thrilled about this one. I did like all the prints together. I love combining prints. So this one was like a, in the middle. But as far as one pieces go, it was interesting. Now we have an ASOS original. It's called the ASOS Fuller Bust, not minimal crop top in a double D to G because I am a 36 double D in boobs, guys, which is why I'm very particular about bikini tops. They're almost always too small. So when I saw that they had one that was in like a fuller bust, size that wasn't like a, didn't have the wiring. I was excited because I don't always want the wires. So I got this one. I loved the color, loved this yellow. But for being a double D, the top was tight. <laughs> the top was a little bit too small and the bottom was a little bit too big, which I was surprised about. So I don't know if I'm willing to make the trade off for that. Maybe I'll keep it because I did really like the color and it did kind of like push my boobs up a little bit, but it was tight, so. I loved this one. So now we have the Amy Lynn bandage cutout choker neck beach top and a matching red brief. And I was super into this one. The top was $22 and the bottoms were $22 as well. So $22 for the top, $22 for the bottom. That's about what I'm expecting to pay for a bathing suit or a bikini, like t about 20 for each part. The material didn't seem very swimsuit like. It did feel like a bandage dress, you know, when they're all like wrapped, all the layers are wrapped. That's what it felt like. So I was like, can this actually get wet? But I would think it can because it is a bathing suit. I love the color. I love the cutouts. I love the way it kind of covered my sides, which is where I'm like not super like thrilled about it right here on the sides. It also didn't go up my butt. Sometimes suits like that that have the high cut go up your butt and I don't like that. This one didn't do that. Up next we have a one shoulder, which I was not expecting to buy. It is the Playful Promises one shoulder asymmetric shoulder top and the Playful Promises high leg stripe bikini bottoms. I like these because they match, but they don't match and I love when my top doesn't match my bottom. So I love that they like were complimentary, but weren't exactly the same. And it felt like athletic and it felt like sporty, but it also felt like chic and artistic. And it felt unique. Up next, we have another fuller bust options for you other fuller bust ladies like myself. This one is the ASOS Fuller Bust Exclusive 80s Pop Print Plunge Strappy Bikini Top and an ASOS Fuller Bust Exclusive 80s Pop Print Contrast Tango Bikini Bottom, both for $23. Actually, the top was on sale, which brought it down to $23. The bottoms were originally $23. 
I really liked this one. It felt supported, although it was a little tight. I was like, okay, but in a way that I felt like secure and sturdy. And I really like the print. I love a loud print. I would probably be more inclined to keep the top and find a different bottom. Everything was true to size on this one and I was into it. So now we have the one I'm wearing right now, the ASOS Design Mix and Match Crinkle High Leg High Waist Bikini Bottoms and matching bandeau top. The top was $19, the bottoms were $26. I loved this one. And it goes against my usual thing because it's very matchy and I don't usually like my top and my bottom to match. I love the bandeau because it is secure. Like as far as bandeaus go, I'm usually like, I can't wear that because my boobs are gonna fall out. No, I feel strapped in. And I love the bottoms that come, they're so high-waisted. I like high-waisted things to hide my tummy a little bit. And the sides had this nice big V, nice slit, and I was like, yes, if I was on the beach, people would go blind because of how good I look. This might be my favorite one from the entire batch, which was which I was not expecting. Oh, I also really like the fabric. I like that it's like that crinkly, like it almost felt like I'm wearing a towel, which is nice. This one was a win, guys, and it wasn't even the most expensive one I bought. I have a pink one, which I was excited about when I saw it on the bag, so I was like, I love pink and I want this one to work out. Jaded London Snake Print High Leg Bikini Bottoms and the Jaded London Snake Print High Neck Bikini Top. Like the red one, it was a high neck, but it was pulling a little bit. It was like a little like saggy right here. Um, but I love the print. I love the snakes on it. And I'm on the fence about this one. I really wanted to like it in the bag, but it gave me kind of like a puff right here on the side. It got like puffy. And I was like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. That's very flattering. The bottoms fit great though. I mean, the top just wasn't quite where I wanted it to be. Also, it doesn't have a clasp on the back. The red one had a clasp. This one you had to just shove your head in, and I was like, oh, my head is going to get stuck. And it did. Oh, it's like you're being born, but you're trying to put on a bathing suit top. The top was $26, and the bottoms were $34, so we're turning a little pricey. Also, these were, both pieces of these were on sale. Up next, this one had a little flavor to it, which I liked. The River Island Floral Print Pom Pom Bardo Bikini Top and the River Island Floral Print Pom Pom Bikini Brief. The top was $38, the brief was $23, none of this was on sale, I bought it at a full price. Again, not a terrible price point for a bathing suit. It was just, the colors were a little like muted for me, I like bright colors, and but this one was like classy, it felt very classy. I like the pom poms on it, I would like move and they would move. Also it has that same stretchy bandeau material for the top, which is good for my body type, because it really just, goes with what I have. It doesn't constrict me. It molds to me. So I liked the material and I really liked the bottom. I just, I don't know. The colors were a little like mm -hmm. But it felt like the Jaded London Denim Pom Pom Bikini Bottom and the Jaded London Denim Bow Bandeau Bikini Top. The top was $38, the bottoms were $32, both on sale. Again, a little expensive. It's supposed to look like denim. It's not real denim, which makes sense because it's a bathing suit and denim, you know, that wouldn't really make sense. But I felt a little fake because I was like, oh, this is just like a print of denim on spandex or whatever bathing suits are made out of. So it's like, okay. But I did really like the pom poms. The top, when I opened the top, I was like, is this a tie? Is this a men's tie? Because it was just one long strip and it was so thin. I was like, this isn't going to cover anything. The top was a size 10. So I thought it would have, this is a little bigger than I usually go, and I thought it would have more coverage if I went bigger. But it was very thin, and I think I would end up scarring some small children if I were to wear that one on the beach, so that one's going back. One piece that I really liked, the River Island Floral Print Lattice Plunge Swimsuit. I really liked this one, it was 40 bucks. It felt like secure. Again, I felt like sucked in where I need to be sucked in, which is around my tummy and waist area. But I still feel like my boobs were like free. And I really like the two lines that came down here. And I don't usually like orange, but I really liked this one and I liked the print on it a lot. 40 bucks, not terrible for like a cool one piece. I feel like one pieces that are interesting and have cutouts and stuff are expensive. So 40 bucks for that's not terrible. Last but not least, and not least because it was the most expensive one I bought at $56, the ASOS Elastic Trim Dot Mesh Tool Cup Swimsuit. And I got this one because of the tool skirt. I just thought it was so cute on the picture. I thought it was adorable, but also like had a weird like sporty edge because of the straps. And when I bought it, I was like, Monica, you know that cupped bathing suits just don't work for you. You know that. 
stop trying to be something you're not, but I bought it anyway. And yes, the cups did not fit my boobs. My size was sold out, so I got a 36B. And yeah, it was too small. But that might be on me because that wasn't even really my size. So it was a little too small. The suit fit though, the suit itself fit very nicely, which makes me think that if I were to get a bigger size for the cup, the suit would have been too big, which is my usual problem. It seems like the, you, the cup fits and the rest of the suit doesn't fit, or the suit fits and the cups are too small. So at the end of the day, that one just also was too expensive, $56. I got the one solely just kind of try it on. I'm not spending $56 on a bathing suit. No, I'm not doing that. So that one's going back, but it was very cute. Well, that's all of them. That is all of the bathing suits that I bought on my swimwear haul. It was really fun. I have to say, wearing all those suits and like spinning around was was fun. And I don't usually have fun trying on bathing suits, so I'm glad I found a way that I can make it enjoyable for myself and hopefully for all of you. And if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, hit like on it, and leave me a comment about which one of these bathing suits was your favorite one. Like I said, this one was mine. Let me know what you do to swimsuit shop. Do you have a method? Is there a story? you like? Is there a style you like? How do you find a bathing suit that makes you feel good? Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you soon. Bye!